Hi everyone, we're gonna start in two minutes. So let's get ready. Hello everyone. Hi. Hello teacher. Hi, Hi how teacher. are you? Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you all guys. Thank you for coming to other class. Now we're going to start here with the attendance for today. Just give me a moment. I'm just closing many files that we have right here, okay? I'm gonna put the gallery motion there so we can see each other. One second. I see Analicia Valle de Molina. Brenda Yamilete Estrada Torres. Presente. Cecilia Beatriz. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Let's see here. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Ok. Eh, Jair Adonis Martir Molina. Jair. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Thank you. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Presente. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. 
Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente, Pero, teacher. Thank you. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez. Presente, Sol. teacher. <laughs> thank you, Verónica. So we're going to start here with our class for today. So let me go ahead and show you my computer in this moment. Today we're gonna do pretty much class number 18, right? But we're going to, we have pending some of the exercises that we have from yesterday for the use of would, right? I would like and would like to. But today's topic is going to be a little bit different. So let me show you here my computer. Now, give me one second. This is a little bit slow. Can you see my computer? Good evening. Yes, teacher. Good evening, Gerardo. This yes, says, teacher. excellent. How do you use could for polite and formal requests? Right? How to use could for polite and formal requests? That's our topic for today. But before we continue, I would like you to tell me when are you going to use or when do you use when do you use would like or would like to para qué lo vamos a usar cuénteme mm -hmm. when are you going to use it good no would like would like para decir algo would like cuando, to. Para decir, para, me gustaría, es como preguntar algo de una manera más polite, digamos, en el trabajo. Ok, to ask for something more politely, mm, kind of, kind of, kind, algo uh -huh. así, ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Para qué usamos would like and would like to? Ayer me dijeron que les quedó claro. Quiere decir que no puede decir. Ajá. When do you have a desire? When you have a desire, okay, very good. Daniela, can you repeat your answer? When make when making offers and requests. When making offers and requests, very good. And when we say what we want, right? Like when we have a desire, we say what we want. So that's when we're going to use it, right? Very well. Now, can you tell me one example before we continue? Me pueden decir un ejemplo. No. I would like to go to the beach. I would like to go to the beach. Okay. Very good. I would like to go to the beach. Okay. What else? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Maricela. Would you like to eat pizza? Would you like to eat pizza? Very good. Would you like to eat pizza? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't like. Very good. What's another one? Would you like, would you like a drink cup of coffee? Would you like to drink a cup of coffee? Okay. Would you like to drink a cup of coffee? Excellent. Mm -hmm. What could be another example, eh, Teresa? Look at the structures. The structures are there. The estructuras ya están ahí. Pero ustedes díganme más ejemplos. I would like to have a lot of money. <laughs> okay, I would like to have a lot, a lot of, of money. a lot of a lot of money. Money. Okay. I would like to have a lot of money. Very good. Thank you so much. I would like to get a new card, for example. I would like to get a new car. 
Okay, I would like to get a new car. Very good. What else? Teacher, I would like to speak English. I would like to speak English. Okay, very good. I would like to speak English. Excellent. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Uh, when um, uh, the structure use a verb, for example, uh, speak, uh -huh. eh, siempre tiene que ir el tú antes del verbo. Exactly. Uh -huh. When it is, when it is, uh, would like to, you have a verb. I would uh -huh. like to, to verb. Uh -huh. Verb, okay. Uh -huh. And if you don't have to, then you are going to use a noun. I would noun. like, for example, I would like to buy a car. Mm -hmm. okay. I would like a car. Two different okay. things. Mm -hmm. right? Two different things. Thank you so much. Very good. Now what's another one? Teacher, I would like to paint. Eso es correcto. I would like to? Paint. Pintar. Paint. Yep. I would like okay. to paint. Is there any other question, guys? Teacher, uh -huh. eh, yo estaba viendo en los, eh, ¿cómo se llama? En las tareas. De que no se puede mezclar eh, los verbos y con, eh, y con ING, ¿verdad? Yes. Porque ajá. Según, ajá, según los ejemplos, todo va en, en, en simple presente. Todos los verbos van en simple present. En, cuando usamos would you like, no se puede usar con, eh, el, eh, por ejemplo... Quiero ver, si would like, mm, y, por ejemplo, el ejemplo que está acá en el cuaderno, she would like to send the report today, pero no podríamos decir she would like eh, to sending the no. report today. No, you cannot uh -huh. use that. Exactly. You cannot use it because first of all, right, what we're doing there is, eh, Karen, it's not that you're using the verb in simple present. En realidad, no están utilizando el libro en simple present. Okay, el, perdón, el verbo en simple present. Están utilizando el verbo, y quiero, permítame que escucho demasiado ruido atrás. Le voy a poner aquí, le voy a poner aquí. Van a utilizar el verbo en su forma base o su forma infinitiva. Ok, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Cuando usted está utilizando would like to, va a utilizar el verbo en su forma base. Pero eso no significa que su oración está en, en, en presente simple. ¿Ok? Eso significa que su oración en ese momento right, está expresando eh, lo que quiere, lo que desea. Está expresando también eh, pues, ofertas, solicitudes, utilizando would like. Esa es la función. Y la función del simple present es eh, hablar sobre las rutinas. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Karen. Esas son cosas bien importantes. La, lo que acaba de mencionar Karen es algo bien importante que lo debemos anotar. Thank you so much, Karen. What's another one? tenemos otro? Ok. Let's make that our first exercise with would like to. Right? Now we have this. I have a very, very nice exercise with would like. Right? Now, to pay attention to what is following. It says, I am thirsty or I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Right? Now, what, ha what happens with the next one? It says, 
a break. Is this a break, a verb, or a noun? What do you think? A noun. A noun. It's a noun, exactly. It is a noun, so we're gonna use, would you like a break? Yes, I would, or yes, we would, right? So let's start. Let's go ahead and do this individually, right? Would like to or would like? Tell me if you have questions. Tell me if you have questions. Give me a moment. Okay, tell me guys if you have questions. Number two, teacher. Okay. Do you like a break? Oh, but we're not using, we are not using right now a simple present. We're using would like yeah. ah, or okay. would like to, exactly. Entonces sería, would you like a break? Yes, we like. Ok, but we we're going like. to check, vamos a ver las respuestas entre todos. En un momento. Ah, ok, teacher. Sí. <laughs> yeah, teacher. Yes, Jonathan. Una pregunta. Um, uh, every sentence is, uh, it will be has, will like, or, or, um, um, Quiero ver. No le entiendo sí, sí. su pregunta. Oh, should, todas las oraciones tienen que ser en base a will like. Yes. Ah, ok. Ok. Esa es mi pregunta. Es que anoche, perdón, no pude estar en la clase, entonces no, no comprendía muy bien, pero ya entendí. Ok. ¿Vio el video? Realmente no me quedó chance, fíjese, pero, pero sí estoy entendiendo eh, okay. la clase un poquito. Tell me everyone if you still have questions. <clears throat> Ok, ¿did everyone finish? ¿Ya terminaron? ¿Me avisan, por favor? No, teacher. ¿No yet? 
No yet. Okay, let me know, please. No, teacher. Thank you. Tell me when you finish so we can continue. Number 12, Peter, who would like some candy? Maybe. Maybe. We're going to check the answer in a moment. I think everyone finished. No yet? Ana ya terminó. No, Fatima ya terminó. I'm finished. Brenda? Daniela también. I'm finished. Excellent, Brenda. Veronica, Jonathan. Okay, let's check the answers, right? Let's check the answers right here and let's see what happens. We're gonna have here a, well, the first one, we already know that is would like, right? We're gonna have here would, right? And then would you like a break? Would you like a break? Yes, we would. Yes, we would. Right now, number three, Sandra. I would like. I, I, let us, I don't understand this. I would like a someone help with my homework. I would like a someone to help someone with my homework. Yeah. 
Like this? I would like to, sería. I would like to some. I would like to some to someone to some, um, to some help with my homework. Okay. ¿Cuál es el significado del verbo some? Sandra, cuéntenos. Alguien, alguien. alguien. ¿Y ese es un verbo? No. ¿Por qué estás usando tú? Sí, tiene razón. Okay. I would like a someone. Ahora, ¿por qué estoy utilizando a? Si eso no en la estructura. Solo es I would like. Yes. Only, estamos poniendo solamente would like o would like to. Ok. Eso estamos okay. utilizando. En la estructura no, de, no, no utilizamos a. Right. A. Oh. As. Ok. Number four. Choose another person, Sandra. Um, Marina. Marina. Number four. Patrick would, would like to. Would like to go to the supermarket. He needs he needs milk. He needs milk. Very good. Thank you, Vanessa. Like Who's you. gonna do number five, Vanessa? Uh, mm, uh, Karen. Karen, number five. Ay, teacher, es que esa no le entendí, pero va. Wool. Tengo miedo de equivocarme, bueno. Wool. ¿Por qué? <risa> Primero utilizamos wood y luego nos vamos con el sujeto. Would like. Tom Tom like, like. No un sujeto. Uh -huh. Would Tom like? Uh -huh. Would Tom like? Ah, eh. Con Windows. Solo así, teacher. Okay. ¿Qué like? significa la palabra com? Es de venir, no. Ok, ¿y qué es venir? ¿Es un sujeto o es un verbo? Ah, oh, es un verbo. Ok, what's the answer? Like to come okay. with us. Ok. Would like to come with us? Yes. He would like. Yes, he would like or yes, he would. Right? Yes, he would. Right? Yes. <laughs> okay, now let's do number six, Karen. Karen who's going to do number six? I, Daniela. <laughs> Daniela. Number six. Can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Okay, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Very good. Number seven. Who's number seven, Daniela? Eh, quiero ver. Oof, everyone. <laughs> Teresa. Teresa, okay. Scott, Teresa. My friends, mm -hmm. go, go like to. My friends would like to come to the party next week. That is correct. Thank you. Who's next, Teresa? Uh, Eh, Verónica. Verónica. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, Sería, yes. would you like? Ajá. Uh -huh. Would you like? Oops, sorry. Capital letters. Would you like? Uh -huh. Would you like? Este Just like that. No veo. 
Would you like work on Saturday? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't, okay? Wouldn't. Now, what is the meaning of work? Ah, sorry, would you like to? Would like you to? like to, exactly. The would bird. you like to work on Saturday? Very good. Who's next, uh, Veronica? ¿Quién va luego? Um, yo le digo. Um, Dígame. Aide. Aide. Number nine, Aide. Aide de la Paz. Would you like cho a chocolate? Chocolate ice or ban ba vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla. ice cream. Tortilla. Okay. Would you like would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Very would nice. Like ice cream or vanilla ice cream. Excellent. Now let's continue with number 10. Who's number 10? Mm. Ana Valle. Ana Valle. Number 10. Would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. Okay, who's next, Anna? Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan? Hola, ¿qué soy? What will you like? Will you? Will you? Okay, pronunciation matters. Very good. What would you like? What would you like? Mainly. What would you like tomorrow? Is that it? Así lo dejamos, Jonathan? No, no, no. Permítame, aquí estoy revisando mis apuntes. Ah. Mm. Yo... Mm, no, eso no lo había completado, teacher. Solo hasta ahí me había quedado. Ok. Perdón. We're using, no, it's ok, it's ok. We're using would like or would like to, right? So, since we're using would like plus a noun and would like to plus a verb. Now, my question is, Jonathan, do it still a noun or a verb? Do it's a verb. Okay. ¿Qué le hace falta entonces a la respuesta? Would you like to do? To do tomorrow. What would you like to do tomorrow? Oh, I would like to go to the beach tomorrow and drink some cocktails. Right? Now we'll yeah. go with number 12. Who's number 12, Jonathan? Um, quiero ver. Um... Fatima. Fatima. He's not here. Um, who mm -hmm. would like some candy? Who would who like some candy? Some candy. Uh huh. Who would like some candy? Okay. Continue. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 um, I, I can see the compliment. I'm sorry. We would. We would. Okay. Yeah. Would you like some candy? We would. Yay. Would you like some pupusas? Yay. We would. Right. Would you like some empanadas? We would. Right. 
Very exciting. Now let's take a look at the examples, please. And tell me if you have questions so far, so we can continue. Tienen preguntas? In the meantime, I'm gonna move to another spot. Tell me if you have questions. No tienen preguntas? Todo quedó claro? Yes. Not teacher. Eh, no no, no quedó claro o no tienen preguntas? <laughs> no tengo preguntas. No tiene preguntas, ok. Ten Oops, ouch, my mouse. It's just fell down. Oh my God, my mess today. Ok. Let's continue there. Eh, sí, teacher, una pregunta. Eh, el negativo eh, se puede se utiliza en todos los sujetos el bullying. bullying. Yeah, bullying. it's the same. Ah, ok. okay. Exactly the same for everything. Para todos vamos a usar el mismito. Thank you, Karen, for your question. Another question, everyone. No hay más preguntas. No question. No questions. Ok. If we don't have questions, let's continue working. Right? Let me stop sharing here. Vamos a dejar de compartir esta parte. Right? And we continue here with other exercises that we're going to practice. I'm going to show you right now six questions, right? With would like. And I want you to think about the best answer you can give for these questions, okay? This is for would like, would like. Let me show you. Can you see my computer? No pueden ver mi computadora? No? No, no, teacher. no, teacher. Okay. Let me show you here. One second. What is going on? Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? ¿O todavía no? No, todavía no. no. Oof, I'm so sorry. This is crazy today. Ya vamos a ver aquí qué está pasando. Internet, don't fail, please. Don't fail. What about now? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. So we have there our exercise here. We have six simple questions and we have different options for would like, right? For example, in the first one says, would you like to traveling, to travel, <coughs> traveling, or travel? What is the answer? For number one, what would you think is the answer, uh, Karen, in number one? We have four would different like options. To uh, would you like to, to travel, travel with okay. him? Would you like to travel with him? Very good. That would be the answer, right? Would you like to travel with him? Now you're gonna think about the answers for the other questions. Okay, let's start. Veamos las respuestas de las siguientes cinco preguntas. Son bien fácil. 
Porque se ha reído. Sí, es cierto. Ustedes las hacen difíciles. I'm finished. You're in silence, teacher. Con razón de ello, porque no me contestaba. Okay. <laughs> eh, Brenda, did you finish? Sandra, finish. Daniela, finish. Ya dijeron también. Ana, también. And the others? Yes. Almost, I did too. Ok. Esta vez le vamos a preguntar a los que no participaron en el ejercicio anterior. Ok, so that we're going to start with Brenda, number two. Read the question and your answer. Ok. How your coffee? How... Uh, number two. Would you like... Oh, sorry, sorry. Would you like something... To eat. Would you like something to eat? Very well. Would you like something to eat? No, I wouldn't like. Right? No, I wouldn't. I am not hungry. Thank you, Brenda. Let's do number three, Aide. Ah, no, perdón. Aide trabajó en el otro ejercicio, ¿verdad, Aide? Sí. Ok, veamos aquí. Eh, Mr. Gerardo. Number three, how your coffee? Um, how would you like your coffee? How would you like your coffee? I would like my coffee black. Very good. Thank you, Gerardo. Let's continue with Next person, Katia Carolina, number four. Um, who would like to come with me? Who would like to come with me? I would like to come with you. Right? 
Aide would like to come with you. Right, very good. Katia, thank you so much. Right, number five, Juana Cristela. Where would you, would you like to stay? Where would you like to stay? Excellent. Where would you like to stay? Where would you like to stay? And the last one, it's for Adonis, number six. Would you like to have uh, some orange juice? Would you like to having some orange juice? Mm, can we can we make this this uh, this option? Hi, can we say two plus adjourn to having? Would you like to have in some oranges? Okay. What do you think, guys, about this answer? Would you like to have in some orange juice? Do you have the same? No. Okay. What do you have? Uh, let's see. What do you have, Veronica? Some orange juice. Would you like some orange juice? Because orange, some orange juice, it's a noun, right? Very good. These are the correct answers. Check your answers. Tell me if they are the same. Vean las preguntas, vean las respuestas y hagan preguntas si así las tienen, por favor. Teacher. Uh -huh. por, eh, por ejemplo, para la cuatro, para mí, al inicio, Necesitaba el, está bien la que dijeron, pero para mí falta el you. Para mi lógica, vea, pero no sé si. Oh, it would depend. In this case, what we're trying to ask is for the subject, right? So we're asking here, I'm actually making a request, right? Estoy haciendo una solicitud. ¿A quién le gustaría ir conmigo? Who would like to come with me? Right. Who would like to come with me? That would be the option, right? Si, como, yo estoy, como yo les estoy haciendo una, un request, right? Estoy solicitando, viendo quién quiere ir conmigo. Entonces, vamos a utilizar, eh, y quiero la respuesta como sujeto. Right? Entonces, no utilizo you. Porque si utilizara you, yo le estaría preguntando a usted, Brenda, who would you like to come with me? ¿Quién, ¿A quién te gustaría que, que viniera conmigo? Ese es otro tipo de pregunta. ¿Ok? Pero uh, también es válido. Yeah, it could be valid. It could be valid. Es rara, pero right. es válido. Sí, porque en este caso no es como un request, sino que es como un permiso. Okay. Y would se utiliza como request or offer. ¿Ok? Very good. Y, uh -huh. En nombre... Would you like some something to eat? Yep. But in this case, the rule it doesn't. The structure of the of the sentences is not like you teach us. Yeah, it is. It is because something is algo, right? Entonces, acá something is a noun, right? Um... That is a noun. Would you like something? Okay. Would you like something to eat? Something es un sustantivo. Right? Un sustantivo reflexivo. In <laughs> that. In the... mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't understand why. But I, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your questions, everyone. Muy buenas preguntas hasta el momento. Excelente. Right? Now, let's continue. If we don't have more questions, let's continue right here. We're gonna stop sharing. One moment.
and we're gonna continue here with another practice. One moment. Okay. In this very moment, we are going to use our book, okay? We're going to use our book and we're going to open our book. Let me show you here the book. Lo siento que es un poquito trabado el internet a los salvadoreños. Vamos a decir que está trabado un poco, right? Si por el momento tienen preguntas, háganlas, por favor. One second. There we are, perfect. Now, we are working here with would like, right? And we're gonna do an exercise here because we have, we did this conversation before, right? No sé si Ana y Sandra prepararon su conversación, no? No yet. Yes, sir. You did. Okay. Vamos, antes de seguir con los ejercicios aquí, they would like, right? Vamos a escuchar a Ana y a Sandra. Okay? Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Ana, iba a iniciar. Usted <laughs> vaya, usted. Inicio. Sí. Good morning. This is Sandra from the Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Sandra. I would like to report a problem with my internet. I have trouble with Wi Fi connection and my cell phone. Okay, you can restart the router, please. Yes, I do, but it's always very slow. Okay. I send the technical support to your home. Give me your address, please. Okay, okay sure. <laughs> <laughs> Finish, teacher. It's very short. It, it's okay. It's okay. Very good job. Thank you so much. You use the structures. Very good, right? Muy bien, thank you so much. Ya están, ya están tranquilos, ya no deben nada. <laughs> now, we're gonna do here, right? Uh, we have this conversation between Mike and Maria. That's on page 42, right? But here, this is what I want you to do. On page 43, página 43, right? Page 43, we have a, com it says, imagine, a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. We're going to write from four to five requests about it, right? Van a pensar en todas las cosas que ya hablaron bastante de ustedes, sus compañeros, que se han arruinado en el trabajo, right? Aquí dice que pensemos en una, pero podemos pensar en todo lo que tenemos en el trabajo, right? And what would you like to do with that? For example, in my work, Right, I would like, give me a moment. I would like, right, now I want to make a request. I would like to repair the laptop the laptop in my office. Okay, I would like to repair the laptop in my office, right? That's one request I have. I would like 
to connect properly, properly to the internet or to the Wi-Fi. I would like to connect properly to the Wi-Fi. Right. Eso es lo que me gustaría hacer a mí, aunque se ha arruinado, right. pero me gustaría right, conectarme de forma apropiada al Wi-Fi de la empresa. Right. I would like to... Um, I would like to receive a new laptop or a tablet to work. Right. I would like to receive a new laptop or a tablet to work, right? These are my requests, right? Yo tengo tres acá, son de tres a cinco, right? Because ustedes ya pensar, ay, no está arruinado, right? Entonces, no lo podemos reparar, pero ¿qué, les, qué desean? What are your desires? What are your requests? Right? That's what we need. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Okay, individually, yes. let's do it. Very good, let's do it. How do you say I would like to que el internet corriera más rápido, más veloz? I would like uh, uh, the internet, but in that case, I would like the internet to, to run uh, faster. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Facturadora de crédito. Permita, que estoy viendo acá un vocabulario técnico que me está diciendo la señorita Joana. Right. One second, señorita Joana. Thank you, teacher. Let me show you here. It's this one. I think this is the one. Tax received printer. Tax received printer. I don't know if this, this is the one. Let me show it here <clears throat> very quick. Joanna, look at the chat in, in WhatsApp and tell me if that's what it is. Something like that, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. It's the same. 
Okay, so it's, that's a tax receipt printed. printed. Okay. Um, marcador digital. It depends. ¿Qué es un marcador digital? Okay. Um, Deme el concepto. De, de huellita. Cuando uno entra al trabajo, bueno, lo, lo oh. usa como marcador digital de huellita. Mm -hmm. Is it digital? Oh, it's a digital. Uh, give me a moment. Let me show you. If it's this, let me know. Right. I'm going to put it here in the chat again. And that, that's not a marker, right? It's a machine. Okay. Let me show you. Would that be like this? Projector, that's easy, projector, oh, projector, projector, Ana, projector, pero lo vamos a escribir con una G, una J, projector. So, Fatima, is that correct? Is it the one? Yes, okay, 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 yes. okay. Very good, so in that case, right, that will be a digital fingerprint machine. Digital fingerprint machine. Okay, tell me if you have your answers. Teacher, the assistances. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Puedo quitarle y sacar lo que tengo en la pantalla. Sí, verdad? Ahí tienen sus ejemplos. Right. Vamos a pasar la attendance. Voy a pedirle a los señoritos que tienen sus camaritas apagadas, por favor, que las enciendan. Right. Thank you so much. We're going to do Analicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Brenda Yamilete Estrada Torres. Presente. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente, Tejo. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, teacher. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Jair Adonis Mártir Morina. Presente, Jonathan, teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Presente, teacher. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Presente. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Presente. Thank you. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Sí. Present. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Presente. Thank you. Uh, qué bonito. Y no, no falta nadie. That's Great. Now, do you have your answers? Can I listen to your answers? Okay, Anna, let's listen to your answers right now. Oh no, you know what? We're gonna do something different. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. We're gonna go to working groups. You are going to read for your classmates, your examples. But once we come back from the breakout room, you are going to write in the chat your answers for everyone. Primero lo vamos a hacer con un grupito, solo vamos a leer, no van a copiar nada. Por eso solo vamos a tener cinco minutos. Okay? Solo van a leer. Right? And then we're going to come back. Cuando venimos, todos van a escribir sus ejemplos en el chat para que todos los vean. ¿Está that clear? Yes. No se duerma, Gerardo, no se duerma. Despierte, vaya a tomar café. Ha right? sido un día duro. 
<laughs> Todos los días son días difíciles. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and work here. When I work in groups of six, no, groups of five, right? Let me put here everyone. Right? Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna put it here. Everyone is in groups of three. There are two groups of four, right? Hay dos grupos de cuatro, pero en esos grupos de cuatro, en uno va, tengo a Leonel. Entonces, ese grupo, eh, solo recordarles que Leonel, eh, lastimosamente, solo está como oyente por, mientras esta semana, ¿ok? Vamos ahorita a trabajar, por favor. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh no. pusieron ustedes? ¿Están a ti? Yo puse, I, I would like to repair the printer or buy the new. I would like to buy a new printer. A new print. I, I would, would like, like to buy a new printer. Teacher, uh -huh. y así como la había puesto, I would like to repair or, or buy or buy the new printer or buy yeah the new printer a new printer a, a new, new printer, printer. a new printer so yes okay. sandra muy bien i would like to um to, to register of my showroom faster ella dijo de que así podíamos poner cuando queríamos que fueran más rápido ¿verdad? el qué eh, por ejemplo <laughs> eh, la registradora, yo quisiera que fuera más rápida, ¿verdad? entonces por eso yo puse run faster. To run faster, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Run faster. Puede ser run faster o work faster, cualquiera de las dos. Ajá, yo quisiera que corra más rápido ella, los, uh -huh. todos los procesos. Uh -huh. Las dos, las dos frases, work faster y run faster, significan que trabaje rápido. Ok, work. La otra puse, esta si no sé, I will like to get a new support team, quisiera cambiar el equipo de soporte. Ajá, pero, pero esos no son dispositivos. <risa> no, quiere eso... echar a todo. <risa> yeah. Ah, pues eso no, vaya. Diez. Yes. ¿Cuánto Dios y en qué número lo quiere? Es ah. que a mí me da el sol, a mí me da el sol por una ventana, entonces necesito que esté más helado. <risa> este a 16 dice <risa> I would like esa no sé si estará bien I would like to start de eh, fotocopiadora es machine photocopy no. machine copy oh. machine copy machine or photocopy machine copy machine eh, near, no sé, cerca de mí, near, near me, near me, near me, eh, y I would like to clean, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Bathroom, eh, el, el baño que esté más limpio. Okay. Uh, I would I like, would to like clean. a clean bathroom. Porque cuando usted yeah. dice, I would like to clean the bathroom, quiere decir que a usted le gustaría limpiarlo. Ah. Y si usted, le dice, sería? si usted le dice eso a un americano, le van a mandar a lavar el baño, porque como usted lo pidió. <laughs> I would like a clean. A clean bathroom. Bathroom. Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher, I have a doubt. Yep. 
yo puse así, no es así, yo puse, I would like to repair the projector, pero yo no quiero repararlo yo, o sea, yo quiero que me lo reparen, ¿cómo digo? Ok, I would like the new project, ok, I would like the projector, porque no está nuevo, ¿verdad? I would like the projector to be repaired. Ah. Esa, esa frase ya es un poco más avanzada porque ya es una frase pasiva ok, thank you you're welcome ¿alguna otra pregunta? no, dice ahora va a Emeralda sí do you have questions? how do you say aire acondicionado? AC AC. 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 Ahí me hacen el. Uy, pero solo la Katia le escribí. Perdón, Katia. AC. Or air conditioning. Air conditioning. Sí, pero en inglés solo decimos AC. Sí. Any other pero question? Si quiero... Ajá. Este, me gustaría que instalen el aire acondicionado. I would like someone to install the AC. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Keep working. See you in a moment.
Okay, let's see the examples that you have written. And after sharing the examples, después de compartir sus ejemplos y escucharlos de sus compañeros, after sharing and listening to the examples, do you have questions? Tienen preguntas de sus compañeros que, que, que escribió, que dijo, por qué lo dijo así, yo no lo tenía igual, why? ¿Tienen preguntas después de, de compartir con sus compañeros? No, ahí te dicen no. Muy bien, no, ahí te... Yes, we have, we have. Marina Vanessa quería, cuénteles. Cuéntenos, hombre. Cuéntenos. Échese el chambre. Es que yo quería decir algo así como, I would like to have, um, to have a separate office. O sea, que quería tener una oficina sola, pero no sé. No es que quiero estar sola en la oficina. Ok, now, right. Now, what you need to do is to make it simple, right? Make it simple. Cuando somos principiantes, tenemos que hacerlo más, más fácil, ok? Más simple. Porque, uh -huh. recuérdense lo que les dije el primer día, el español, ah, oh, da tantas vueltas, right? Entonces, uh -huh. vamos a decir, quiero una oficina para mí sola. Uh -huh. I would like my own myself I would like my own office my I would own. like my uh, uh -huh. okay or I would my like uh -huh. to have my own office me gustaría tener right Propia. mi propia uh, oficina okay thank you teacher teacher yo le decía cambiar a todo del sistema de IP. <ríe> Yo hasta desde ese rato ando queriendo echar a medio mundo. Okay. <ríe> okay. Very good. Brenda, ahí todo en pijamada. ¿Ya escribió sus ejemplos? ¿Ya escribieron sus ejemplos? Tenía que escribir sus ejemplos, ya los escribieron. Yo no los veo escribiendo. Richard, ah, se no están durmiendo. Si se... Uh -huh. No sé si se podría también decir I would like a personal office. Mm. A personal office. The thing is that personal, it means that it's, for example, I would say I would like my personal assistant. Uh, right? my assistant. Because it's going to be something that we're going to have contact with that person. Mm -hmm. right? But when you say, or oh, we can say also, I would like an office for myself. Right? Una oficina para, para mí solo. Right? Así lo podemos decir, for only for me. I would like to have an, an office only for me. Only Ahí for se puede, me. ajá. Uh -huh. Pero personal uh -huh. office, no, 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 no me suena, no me suena. Ok, sería mejor own, porque sería de propia, ¿verdad? Propia oficina, sí. Uh -huh. Veamos. Says, I would like a new laptop. Me too. I sent my laptop to repair today. I world, ¿qué es world? Mundo. Dice aquí, I, were, I would like to receive a new computer. Receive, Daniela. Receive. Ahí le va cómo se escribe, Daniela. Give me a moment. I'm going to make the chat bigger here. ¿Cómo se pone bathroom? Así, Batimita. Así okay. se pone bathroom. Así, mira, así. Bat con H. Hay que ponérmelo. <laughs> Le escuchamos, Marina. Okay. Teacher. Let's see. Give me a moment. Let me read the other ones. Um, Fue el corrector. Okay. Perdón. <laughs> Don't worry. Cristela says, I would, like, I would like you to repair the company car. Yo estoy teacher, no mecánica. Lo siento, Teresa, no lo puedo hacer eso. Me dice que le gustaría que yo repare el carro de la compañía. Mire, ve, nombre. No, I would like you to repair the company car. No, oh, Cristela. Sin ni manejar puedo, please. I would like to connect quickly to the Wi-Fi at work. Very good, Teresa. That's an excellent example. I would like to check your internet connection. Venga, Jair, y me revisa la, re la conexión de internet. Ninguna de las dos me sirve. I would like to load my cell phone in my office. Charge, I would say charge. Está bien load, pero load lo utilizamos, por ejemplo, cuando ya han jugado en sus teléfonos. 
Cuando juegan sus teléfonos, aquí les aparece en la pantalla que dice, uy, uy, se me olvidó, que dice load, right, que está cargando el juego. Entonces, pero cuando está cargando la batería, no dice load, dice charge, right, charge. Very good, Thank Karen. You. Right. Y, pero los dos significan cargar, así que no se preocupe. Load and charge es lo mismo, pero se utilizan distintos escenarios. I would like to have a personal assistant. Me too, Brenda, para que me pase los canales de next. I would like to receive a new computer. I would like to repair the computer. Eso es lo que hablábamos con, una, con unos estudiantes. Cuando decimos, I would like to repair the computer, quieren decir que ustedes van a reparar la computadora. Right? I would like to repair the computer. Ah, yo la voy a reparar. Right? I would like to receive, I would like to change the computer. I wouldn't like to go to work in the building. I would like to get a better position at work. I would like to change of a schedule. Ahí sería, I would like a change of a schedule. A change of a schedule, Gerardo. Sus oraciones están perfectas, pero no hablan de, de equipment. Ninguna habla de equipment. Okay. Pero están perfectas, están bien escritas. Son requests, son desires. I would like to clean the computer system of my laptop. I would like to fit the printer, to fix, fix, ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí creo que fue el corrector también, igual que Dani. I would like to fix the printer. Let's I see, let's call. Let's call. Uh -huh. Excellent printing machine. <laughs> I would like to receive pen and staplers. Yo también cuando iba a clase, pues, nunca me daban plumones. I would have cell phone for each technician. Oh, yo quiero ser su técnico. Very good. Give an applause to yourself, right? You have excellent examples, very good job. I right? thank you so much, right? Don't forget, enciendan sus cámaras por Dios bendito. Le voy a bajar dos puntos por cada día que no enciendan la cámara. I would like to program air conditioning more cold. Okay, Marina, vamos a poner acá un adjetivo cuando decimos que es más frío, más helado, pero como este es un adjetivo cortito, right? le vamos a decir colder. I would like to program the air conditioning colder. Colder. Okay. Más helado, colder. Colder. Okay. Yep. Quítale more y póngale colder. Okay, guys. So we have there our examples for would like. Right now we're going to do examples here. We're going to receive the explanation for could, right? I know that we have some uh, like uh, reading there. Vamos a hacer a reading mañana, no se preocupen. Y vamos a hacer un complaint form. Pero les quiero explicar los tribus del ejercicio los vamos a hacer mañana, no se preocupen. There's no problem with that, right? Eso vamos a irlos trabajando. But I would like you to pay attention to me because we are going to explain the use of uh, could, right? Now, what I'm going to do right now, con lo que voy a hacer en estos momentos, es que voy a compartir con ustedes la explicación de could y de can, okay? Ambas, ambas dos, como dice una señora, right? I'm going to explain to you both things, right? Y luego vamos a ir viendo ejemplos de, 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 de las dos, right? Now, we're going to, let me show you here my computer. Da, 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 da. Mm 
Okay. Okay, let me show you here my computer. Please pay attention to the following. Can you see this right here? This is what are modal verbs? Pueden verlo? Okay. Yes. Very yes. good. It says what are modal verbs? This is what we're looking for, modal verbs, right? These modal verbs, they are more like auxiliaries. You know, they are more like do, does, Son bien parecidos los usos. ¿Y ¿Por qué? Porque nos ayudan a modificar el verbo principal. ¿Ok? That's what they do. They help us to modify the main verb. So we're going to start here with the first example. Aide, can you read the first paragraph? Ok, teacher. They are a type of auxiliary verb we use with other verbs to add more meaning to the verbs. After modal verb, we use the infinitive form without to. Very good. We're going to use the infinitive form without to. So it means we have modal verbs. Examples of modal verbs right, that we are going to use in this class are can, could, right, would, right, can, could and would. So we're gonna use can, could and would plus the infinitive form. So in this case, we're gonna use, for example, can, it, could, yum, yum, it, would, it. This verb, right, it's an infinitive verb. Es un verbo infinitivo, lo que explicamos al inicio eh, con Karen, right, es un verbo que no tiene o no ha sufrido ningún cambio. Y se va a utilizar esta fórmula, can, could, would, más el verbo, right, con cualquier sujeto, así como nos explicó Karen. Right, con cualquier sujeto vamos a utilizar esta forma de modal verbs. Okay? Los verbos no van a cambiar, no importa, no importa si, si son singulares, plurales, he, she, it, they don't change. Okay? Now, Okay, now we're gonna put here, right? Ya practicamos would, right? Pero como would like, right? Que like era su infinitivo. Now we're gonna look at the following example. Thank you, Aide, for reading the first one. Can you read the second, the second um, paragraph, Anna? Models. Models are not used with the auxiliary verb do to form the negative. We have after the modal. To ask questions, we put the modal in front of the subject. Okay. Now it says models are not used with the auxiliary verb do. Are not used. Not used with the auxiliary verb do. Okay, so this is very important to remember. Right? They are not used with the auxiliary verb do. And to for the negative, we add not after the model. For example, I can say if I have can eat and I want to make it negative, I just need to say cannot eat. And that will be the negative form, right? If I have here, for example, could, it would be could not eat, would, would not eat, right? And remember, we have the contractions, right? Cannot eat, couldn't eat, wouldn't eat, right? And then to make our questions, Anna said that we need to put the modal in front. Listen to that, in front, right, of the subject, which means, right, that if we have a question, let me put it right here. Oh my God, I hate this. 
Oh my God. Ah, hagámoslo fácil. Right? If we have this, if we're going to make a question, right? The, <laughs> if we're going to make a question, we only need to put the verb, the modal verb at the beginning. Right? So we have could, right? Then a subject, of course, right? Could you eat? Uh, could you eat a pupusa? Right? Could you eat a pupusa? We have the modal verb in front of the subject. What is the subject? You. Right? Now, this is like general information about the models. So, tres puntos que debemos recordar acerca de los models. Are we clear with this? ¿Se entiende esa parte? Yes, solo es la introducción. Ya vamos a ver más. Okay. Ana dice sí, los demás. Ahí <coughs> dice sí. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Una consulta. Yep. ¿Y cuándo, cuándo sé cuál tengo que usar? Eso vamos a ver ahorita. <laughs> ah, okay. Sí, esta es como la intro, <laughs> la introducción, right? Ahora, we have here the first two models, okay? We have could and can, right? Could and can. Entre hoy y mañana se supone que vamos a ver could and can. Now, what happens with could? And both, ver both model verbs, they are used for the same, to express abilities, right? and to make formal requests, right? Now, podemos utilizar can y could para hablar de habilidades. Por ejemplo, I can speak English, right? Or I can say, oh, in the past, I could ride a motorcycle. Now, I cannot, right? Pero eso es para habilidades. En cambio aquí nos está diciendo, oh chicos, vamos a hablar de formal requests. For example, yo les digo todo, todos los días, Sandra, can you read? Right? Y eso me dice, ah, Silvia, pero eso es informal request. Yo les estoy dando una, una, les estoy solicitando un request, solicitando algo de manera informal. Right? ¿Por qué? Porque el protocolo, protocolo, sí, será protocolo, me permite que yo pueda hacer un informal request a ustedes. Pero como la sociedad es bien rara, ustedes no me pueden hacer un, un informal request a mí. Right? Por cosas de burocracia. <laughs> right? Now, you have to use could. Right? Teacher, could you tell me what is the meaning of this? That will be a polite and formal request, right? Now, if you're talking to your, to your kids, right? Por ejemplo, Marina le estaba preguntando a su hija. Hija era, ¿verdad? Niña era, ¿verdad? Sí, le estaba preguntando. Could you, yes. uh, can you write how to spell bathroom? Write it here. Can you write how to spell bathroom? Ella le pidió eso a ella. Estaba solicitando algo a su hija. Y lo puede utilizar en inglés. Se le, le, pues, can you write bathroom here? Right? Pero la hija no debería de hacerle un informal request, sino que un formal request. Mom, could I go to the could I go to the party in the school tomorrow? Right? Could I go? So it would depend the context in which you are going to use it. Right? Usualmente Si estamos con amigos, no vamos a utilizar could. We're going to use can, right? Y todos estos requests son en forma eh, de lo que estamos haciendo en este momento en el que estamos hablando, right? Can you do this? Can you do that? Están haciendo solicitudes en el momento que están hablando a las demás personas, okay? No se confunda eso con el presente continuo, right? Now, let's take a look at the examples. We have the structure. Uh, Karen, can you please read the two examples in could? 
Here, please. Examples. Could you write these reports, please? Okay. Could you deliv deliver these letters today, please? Very good. Thank you so much. And now, can you please read the examples with Ken? Uh, Marina. Ken. Can you write, can you read? All oh, right. Right. Can you write, write these reports, please? Can you help deliver these letters today, please? Letters. Repeat. Letters. 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 Porque letters. leather is, a, is, a, ay, cuero. Leather is okay. cuero. Is letters. It? Letters. 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 Okay. Very good. ¿Cuál es la diferencia en estos ejemplos que leyeron Karen y Marina? What, are, what is the difference between can and could examples? In the first, como que podrías, could you write. Y, uh -huh. Ah, y esta sería the... como una traducción, sí, pero, uh -huh. pero en la escritura. The first examples, when they are using could, you, you already, it us that is when I'm talking with a superior o, o, o sea, una persona a quien le debemos respeto o, o digamos alguna re, ¿cómo se dice? Algún jefe, o sea, es decir, se usa el could como para ser más diplomático, este, amable, educado, Exacto. respetuoso. Exacto. Formal. 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 Eso, Very formal. Good. Como a un jefe, como a un superior, vaya, o a una persona mayor, no sé, o, a, o, o en el trabajo a algún superior de uno. Exactly. Very good. Jerarquía. Just, just, yeah, for, for, for uh, that, for hierarchy, we're going to use it for that. And then can right we use can right here only to ask informal requests that's it we're gonna use can to ask for informal requests right that's it that is the big difference si se fijan van escritos de la misma forma la estructura es la misma right there's no other problem with that right we have the same structure right we have the same information right there that we could use, right, to write our examples. Now, look at the look at the information there, please. Look at the information there, and we are going to see right now some examples. Let me show you here another picture, right? <laughs> Let me show you here. Another, ex, like a picture with example. Like, give me a moment. Look at that. Vean, por ejemplo, por favor, en estos momentos, lo que les acabo de presentar y díganme si tienen preguntas. It's important that you tell me if you have questions. No questions? No teacher. No, no teacher. Okay, so everything is clear? Todo está claro? Como la horchata que venden en el mercado? Entendimos que no le debemos de decir a usted, can you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just as an example. Don't worry. <laughs> with me, there's no problem with that. No se preocupe. <laughs> but it's an example. It's actually an example because our society make it look like that, right? Nuestra sociedad así nos dice, hágalo así y así tiene que ser, right? That's why we say it like that, right? Now, we're going to continue here then, right, with our uh, explanation. I'm going to show you more examples and you are going to tell me if you understand those examples, okay? Now, let me show you here. Um, 
Tan, tan, tan. Teacher, una pregunta. Y yes. eh, eh, para cuando se utiliza may. May. Ese, ajá, may. Eh, porque that prácticamente is, es casi similar. Yes, that is another modal too, Karen. Es otro modal también. Que de hecho eh, viene en uno de los ejemplos que están aquí, pero no, no lo vamos a ver para ir por pedacitos. Right? May it's to ask for permission. Okay. May nos sirve para pedir info, para pedir permiso. Para eso nos sirve may. To ask Ajá, por for eso permission. May I go to the bathroom. Ajá, exactly. <risa> muchos muchos estudiantes dicen, uh -huh. teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Y como les dije al inicio, cuando utilizamos can es habilidades también, right? I can play the piano, I can speak English, son habilidades, right? Entonces, si usted me dice, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Mi respuesta va a ser, no sé, I don't know, can you? Can you go to the bathroom? ¿Puede ir al baño? ¿Tiene la habilidad de ir al baño? Right? ¿Anda constipado? ¿No anda constipado? Right? So it would be a different situation, right? Now, la mejor opción es siempre decir, may I go to the bathroom? May I go to the bathroom? Los niños siempre dicen, cuando se si usted llega a dar clases algún día de inglés y trabaja con niños, los niños siempre van a utilizar can, and that's okay. They are kids. Ellos van a ir aprendiendo poco a poco. Right? Now, let me show you. Here I have, like, the, the, like, the most important reference. Right? It says, can I borrow your book? Right? It's a request. It's when you ask for something. Uh, Marina, can you please read that? A request. Is when you ask for something. Repeat. Repita esa oración, Marina. Eh, can, a can request I, is when you re, ask for something. A request is when you ask for something. Very nice. Thank you, Marina. So if we look at these examples here, right, we have informal informal right so pretty much we have informal can you read this example um, gerardo can i borrow your book can i borrow your book now read the formal example cool cool i borrow your book exactly very good now la única diferencia es que uno está con can y el otro está con could they look, estamos haciendo el mismo request. Entonces, cuando utilizamos que, ya se, ah, esto es informal. Good, ah, esto es formal. Eso es lo que nos debemos aprender. As simple as that, right? Fatima, can you please read the definition here for informal? Okay. Informal. And we are often informal with family and friends. Very good. We are often informal with family and friends. Very good. Daniela, can you read this definition for formal? We are usually formal with everyone else, like teachers, doctors, and people. We do not, we do not know well, right? People that we do not know well, right? Have you ever talked to strangers on the streets? Right? When you're walking on the street or when you're in the supermarket or in you are standing in the line uh, in the bank, someone is talking to you like, ay, no se apure, and you're like, mm, sí. Trying to be very formal with that person because you don't know them, right? Ustedes lo tratan de usted, no tratan de vos, aunque sea un bicho. You, you treat them as usted, right? Because you do not know them well. No los conocen bien. Right? ¿Entendemos esta parte? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay. Very good. Let's continue. So, so, so ¿cuál, es, ¿cuál es su pregunta? Antes de continuar. ¿Alguien dijo so, 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 so? So, so significa más o menos. ¿Cuál es su pregunta, Sandra? Sandra. 
Usted Hello, puede. teacher. Ok, ¿cuál Ay. es su pregunta? En, en este caso... Uh -huh. Cuando, cuando sabemos cómo usar cool can? Cuando la situación sea formal o informal. Si es informal, utilice can. Si es formal, utilice could. Usted va a determinar cuándo la situación va a ser formal e informal. Usualmente damos estos ejemplos. Right? Formal. With everyone else, like teachers, doctors, and people we do not know well. Informal, family and friends. Right? Estas son las dos situaciones generales. Estas son las generalidades. Right? Okay, teacher. Estas son las generalidades. Pero a veces hay familiares con los que ustedes no se sienten cómodos de hablarles informalmente. Pueden utilizar could. Right? Or a coworker. A veces tenemos a nuestros coworkers que son de amigos, pero hay otros que no. Right? So, aunque sean sus coworkers, some of them might be your friends and some others may not be your friends. Right? So, va a depender de ustedes en qué momento y cómo van a utilizar esas dos situaciones. Pero estas dos opciones son las generalidades de formal e informal. Teacher, yes? yo he tenido la duda de que uno usa you para usted o para lo que en salvadoreño es vos, ¿verdad? En, en inglés que... se utiliza para ambos. Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es que se sabe cuando usted le está diciendo a alguien usted y no vos? Por ejemplo, yo le digo a mi, a mi jefe inmediato, eh, sí, usted me lo entregó, pero si le digo a mi compañero, sí, vos me lo entregaste, pero uso el mismo you. En inglés, we don't use vos and usted. En inglés, we only use tú. Vale, pero por ejemplo, pero el tú de, el tú de, o sea, usted y tú, aquí sí lo usamos, usted y tú. Pero en inglés no, es tú para, para el jefe, para todos. Uh -huh. so, entonces sería lo mismo, tú, eh, you are my boss, tú eres mi jefe, you are my friend, tú eres mi amigo. Uh -huh. So we use it for both. No, no existe ese, esa división tan estricta como, como en nuestra cultura. It's more like uh, open. It's more open for many things. Pero eso ya es cultural. Mm -hmm. Very good question, Ana. Very good. Thank you, Sandra, also for your question. Thank you. Now, let's continue. We have here, oh, permítame, let's see. Okay. Now, we have this, right? Y fíjense que aquí, Karen, aquí decía can, could, or may for requests. No lo vamos a utilizar. Vamos a utilizar can or could. It says you are at a restaurant, right? You are at a restaurant. Use the words. We have some words here. Hey, Katia, can you read these words? Bill. Very. Check. May a reservation. Grant. Very good. Uh, Juana, can you read number nine? Juana? Daniela, can you read number nine, please? You are thirsty. You are thirsty. Very good. Uh, Gerardo, read number 10. You finished your food and you want to pay. Okay. You finished your food and you want to pay. Very good. And the last one, please read here, Karen. You love the meal and you want to, to come, come again next, next, next week. week. Very good. Now, what are we doing here? We're gonna write like a request using can or could. You have the three situations, right? These are three situations. Cada una tiene su situación distinta. 
right? And you have here the words that you can use, right? To make your request with can or with could, right? Now, how can you make the first one? It says, you are thirsty. And then I have Bill. I have, sorry, I have Bill, right? I have make a reservation, right? And I have drink. Which one are you going to use? You are thirsty. <laughs> For example, right now, oh, well, I am always thirsty in classes, <laughs> always. Drink. Drink, okay, drink. Very good. We have drink. Now, how can you make a question with that? Oh, uh, uh, sorry, a request. And let's make a request using the question form. Hagámoslo como pregunta, you are thirsty. ¿Qué podemos decir utilizando el verbo drink? Could you give me a glass of water, please? Okay, could you give me a glass of water, please? Very good. That is correct, right? Could you bring me, right, a glass of water, please? Very good. But now I want you to use the word drink. Ahora quiero que utilice la palabra drink. This is correct. Could you bring me a glass of water, please? This is perfect. Okay. Would you like to drink a glass water? Glass of water? Repeat. Would you like to drink a glass of water? Could you like to drink? Mm -hmm. No, she is saying would. Oh, would. Yeah, that is perfect with would. Está perfecto con would, pero estamos utilizando could and can solamente. Can you drink our orange juice? That is cool. Could you like? Okay, pero no podemos decir could you like. Um, uh -huh. could, could you drink some water? Could you drink? Some water? some water okay could you drink some water very good could you drink some water very good right is this request polite or impolite formal or informal formal it is formal, formal. right very good it is formal excellent right it is formal now, number 10 says, you finish your food and you want to pay. ¿Qué dicen ustedes cuando ya, ya están en un restaurante, ya terminaron de comer y quieren pagar? ¿Qué dicen? ¿Qué hacen? Nada. Check. Ah, ok, vamos a utilizar check. Ok, very good. la cuenta. Ok, pedimos la cuenta. ¿Y cómo pedimos la cuenta? Could you give me the check? Could you give me the check? Exactly. Right? Le decimos al mesero o a la mesera. Right? Could you give me the check or the bill? Right? Check or bill. Significa lo mismo. Right? Could you give me the check? También podemos utilizar el verbo bring. Give me es, me podrías dar el, el recibo, right? Pero si utilizamos bring, es traer, podrías traerme el recibo, right? La cuenta, right? Bring, traer, give, dar. So we have these other two examples, right? That we could use. Could you give me the check? Could you bring me the check bill? Right, the check or the bill. Very good. And number 11, you love the meal. You're like, wow, this is delicious. And you want to come again next week, right? 
How will you put it here? We have make a reservation. ¿Cómo dirían ustedes? Ya llegaron al restaurante, la comida estaba, uf, era comida peruana, ceviche. Y ustedes dijeron, wow, this is so Can delicious. What, 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 Next. what? Could you make? Can you, Can you oh, Okay, oh, you, you okay. Uh -huh. Can you make a reservation to the uh -huh. next week? Okay, for next week. For uh, okay. For next the next week. Okay. For Can you make a reservation for next week? Excellent, Daniela. Very good. Now, if you see, right? Esto responde a una a las preguntitas que hicimos al inicio. ¿Cuándo lo voy a utilizar? Estas son situaciones de la vida real, right? Y nos dice, eh, en estos momentos también lo puedes utilizar, right? Puedes hacer ese tipo de preguntas. Now, do you have questions at this moment? ¿A quién se le fue la luz? Ah, a Gerald. Mentira, ya estaba durmiendo. <risa> Did you copy the examples? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very well. Now, ahorita que están la mayoría entonces, solamente recordarles, right? That is very, very important. Where am I? Donde estoy, ya me perdí. Ahí está, very good. Now, it's very important, guys, that you check, right? Que por favor tomen en cuenta que ya recibieron, yo creo que ya todos acá recibieron las encuestas por WhatsApp o por correo electrónico, ¿verdad? Entonces, el eh, viernes la vamos a llenar la encuesta durante la clase. Por favor, no falten. Va a ser en la primera hora de clase que lo vamos a hacer. No estoy muy seguro si al inicio, si en la primera parte o en la segunda parte de la primera hora de clase. Pero por favor no falten. Recuérdense que ese es un requisito que tenemos para pasar el curso también. Son tres cosas. Asistencia, sus encuestas y sus notas en la plataforma. Lo cual me lleva, por favor, sigan trabajando en la plataforma. Hay varias personitas que les hace falta muchos, muchas actividades de la semana, de esta semana que no han hecho nada. Ayer los estuve mencionando, así que por favor, trabajen en eso y no olviden su examen final. Todo debe quedar ya listo para el viernes. O sea que el viernes a las diez y media ya todos debemos tener todo hecho. Right? Yo ya lo hice todo. Excelente. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, thank you so much, Daniela. Let me go ahead and call the attendance. And vamos a ver acá. Analicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Brenda Chamilete Estrada Torres. Presente. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Presente. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Presente. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelario. Presente. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Jair Adonis Martir Molina. Presente, teacher. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Carla Susana Mena Valencia. Katia Carolina Para Trejo. Marina Vázquez Presente. Romero. Presente, teacher. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Presente. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Presente. Santos Alberto Chicas Juárez. ¿Cuál? Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Presente. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Ok. So we Teacher. have there. Yes. Yo, Jonathan. Jonathan. No lo mencioné, Jonathan. Jonathan no. Alexis González Torres. Hey. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Now we have there. For today, ayer creo que nos quedamos con Sandrita, right? So today is the day for Santos Alberto Chicas Juárez, right? Quien no se encuentra ese día acá, entonces hay un espacio vacío de 10 minutos, de 10 a 10 y 10. Si no, los demás nos podemos eh, desconectar de la clase 
Hemos finalizado. Nos vemos mañana a las 8. A las 8, no a las 8 y 10, a las 8. Okay. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Hola, Verónica. Hola, Verónica. Verónica. Extraño tu voz. ¿Tiene preguntitas, Verónica? Esmeralda.